Resolutions of the crisis meeting of the two principals and the Independent Electron Boundaries Commission on procurement of the BVR kits through a Kenyan government to Canadian government arrangement seems to be the latest center of attention as Ikolomani MP Boni Halwale sought a ministerial statement from Justice Minister Eugene Wamalwa. What informed the government to settle on Canada and not any other government? It has now emerged that the Canadian company Code Incorporated, which was proposed to supply the biometric voter registration kits by Finance Minister Njeru Gidae, had wound up in mid-July, according to an unconventional liquidation undertaken by Ernst and Young. Mr. Speaker, I would like the Minister to clarify whether the settling on Canada was not as a result of pressure exerted on the two principles by Her Excellency uh, Hillary Clinton when she visited Kenya. According to Ernst and Young, after Code Inc. wound up, it was bought by its former chairman, Dwight Carsons, who changed its name to Electronic Services International Inc. Carsons also bought the BVR software using the pilot project by IEBC in the 2010 referendum. It is reported that U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton offered to buy the BVR kits from Code Inc. and donate them to IEBC, even as fears emerged that Code Inc. was linked to Canadian Security Intelligence Services, CSIS, which in turn works closely with U.S. Central Intelligence Agency, CIA, to do undercover operations around the world. Claims that Carsons, the new owner of the Canadian IT firm, denies. For News at 8, I'm Shem Oluchiri.